Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the douay Reims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the douay Reims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 46 in the douay Reims Bible, but Psalm 47 in the RSV. Unto the end of the sons of Kor. Again, we see the sons of Kor, Korah mentioned here, as in the last several psalms, but this time no additional purpose or context is given for the psalm itself. O oh, clap your hands, all ye nations! Shout unto God with the voice of joy! For the Lord is high, terrible, a great king over all the earth. This is a psalm of praise for the greatness of God, and seems to be set in the context of a victory. Here, God is praised for his power and authority, and joy is commanded, which means that joy is a voluntary action, not merely a feeling. Also, the word terrible is used to describe God. This use of the word terrible shouldn't be taken to mean the first definition of terrible at MW, extremely bad. Only the other definitions apply, formidable in nature, exciting extreme alarm or intense fear in the enemies of God, extreme and great. He hath subdued the people under us, and the nations under our feet. He hath chosen for us his inheritance, the beauty of Jacob, which he hath loved. The people of Israel praise God for giving them victories over other nations, and the ability to dominate the land that had been promised to Jacob. These kinds of gifts rarely last forever, but are definitely something to be grateful for while you have them. God has ascended with jubilee, and the Lord with the sound of trumpet. The Jubilee was a time every fifty years when all slaves were to be freed, all lands returned to their rightful owners, and no cultivation of the land was to be done. It was a time to celebrate if only the people of Israel had honored it as often as they were supposed to. Of course, the word that we translate as trumpet actually refers to a different kind of horn, which was blown to summon everyone together and to give warnings when danger was near. It was a long, straight, silver horn, not a modern-day trumpet, so this verse says that people celebrate the victory of God and gather together for that purpose. Sing praises to our God, sing ye. Sing praises to our King, sing ye. Many kinds of songs can be used to praise God. More modern songs of thanksgiving and praise, traditional hymns, chants, and of course the psalms themselves. For God is the King of all the earth, sing ye wisely. It's wise to praise God with respect and love. God shall reign over the nations. God sitteth on his holy throne. We always need to keep in mind that God has great authority, and his victory over every nation is inevitable. The princes of the people are gathered together with the God of Abraham, for the strong gods of the earth are exceedingly exalted. Certain rulers of the earth were worshipped themselves like pharaohs and Caesars, However, God has power over them as well. No one is more powerful than him, and it's best for every ruler to acknowledge that. So, this is a psalm of pure praise and gratitude in times of victory, recognizing that all victories and power come from God, and that we owe everything we have to him. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.